Welcome back to my channel, all you beautiful front-enders and web designers. My name is Jacob Vingegaard, and today we are setting up a 12-column grid inside my favorite design application of all time. And nope, it is not Figma and it's not Adobe XD. Me, myself, I prefer Affinity Designer for all my graphic works. Now let's get to it. So now we are inside Affinity Designer and we have just fired up a new session and the first thing we need to do is to go up to File and then from File down to New and then choose the 1440 by 900 and press Create. And then the next thing we need to do is to go up to View and then from View down to Show Column Guides into View again and then choose the Guide Manager. When we have opened up the Guide Manager we need to go over here where it says Columns and then type in 12. Then we go down to gutter and inside gutter we are typing 15 or 20, depends on what, what your preferences are. But uh, normally I use 15 for my, for my layouts. Like this. Then the next thing we need to do is to go down to margin. And in my case I want to set my total width to 1140. So uh, we have to do a little bit of math. Um, that's actually quite simple. So we have to type in 1440 minus 1140 and then divide that by two. And then we have a total, total margin of 150 in each side. So let's go back and put that in. So we take the left side here, 150, and the next, the right side, 150. And now you can see we have a, a total width of uh, 1140 with 150 pixels in the right and 150 pixels in the left. And that is actually the exact same way to do it if you have a screen size of 1920 by 1080 instead. Then you just go into the calculator and then you write 1920 minus 1140, press enter, divide that by two, and then you have a left and right margin of 390 instead. So let's go back to Affinity Designer, press close, and now you have a 12 column grid to work with for your next mockups and web designs. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you're setting up a 12 column grid inside Affinity Designer to get that pixel perfect result in all your future web design mockups. And if you want to download the template I've put together for free that includes both the desktop, tablet and mobile version, simply just click the link in the description below. And as always, please like and subscribe to the channel and drop me a comment below if you have any suggestions for upcoming videos. That's it for today, folks. My name is Jacob Vingegaard and I'm out.